1972, GM modified the design of their engine and front light harnesses in some significant ways. In this video, we'll explain those changes, as well as why anyone owning a Chevrolet full-size car, Chevelle, Camaro, or Nova should be aware they won't see part numbers for internally regulated front light harnesses in our factory fit catalog. The Chevy trucks and Corvette were spared from the one-year change, so this video does not apply to those vehicles. In most applications, GM placed charging system connections in the vehicle's front light harness, and the ignition connections are found in the engine harness. American AutoWire can produce internally regulated front light harnesses for vehicles matching this configuration. In most cases, you'll see a specific part number for either a driver's side or passenger side internally regulated alternator in our factory fit catalog. For the vehicles manufactured in 1972, GM kept the voltage regulator connection in the front light harness, but moved the alternator connections to the engine harness. Rather than being standalone as in other years, the 1972 engine and front light harnesses are connected by a jumper wire. The integration of these two harnesses makes adding an internally regulated alternator more complicated because changes are required in two harnesses instead of one. American AutoWire recommends using an alternator adapter kit to simplify an alternator swap in these years. Our alternator adapter kits include a jumper for the voltage regulator and a pigtail to convert the external connector to either the SI or CS series. This type of adapter also makes it simple to switch back to an externally regulated part in the event a change is required in the future because no modification is required to either your original wiring or a new replacement harness purchased through our factory fit catalog. In addition to following us on YouTube, please check us out on Facebook, Carbuff Network, Instagram, and AmericanAutoWire.com.